Hey, it's me, and today is my annual Q&A. Q&A, Q&A, I like to do a Q&A about once a year. I understand if it's not your thing. If so, I will see you next week, and it'll be another art video as usual, okay? So bye. Everyone else who's stuck around, come here. You guys are great and spectacular. You're my favorite. I posted my call for questions on the community tab as usual quite a while ago at this point. So it's been collecting questions on there for a long time. Needless to say, I'm not gonna be able to answer every single one of them. The last two years I did my Q&A on my blue couch. I'm not doing it on my blue couch, okay? I hope it doesn't bother you. Please stop crying, I can't handle it. Let's get into the questions. I am I'm looking at my laptop over here. Okay, what's your favorite brand of paint? What paint are you talking about? Fabric paint, leather paint, acrylic paint, puffy paint, watercolor paint, spray paint, paint pens? Okay. I do have a link in the description to a list of all kinds of different products that I use regularly. Just check that list, it could be there. Do you ever get bored of your style or want to change it? <laughs> Was that a response? <laughs> If I wanted to change my style, then I would. Some people think that I'm not changing quick enough. Some people don't like when I change any little tiny thing. I don't develop my style based on what other people are saying about it. I really just kind of do the things that I like. And if that happens to change naturally, it happens to change naturally. But I think I will always be into the cutesy, colorful style. That's just what I like to do. How do you manage to find time to make all your squishies? I kind of have to find time for it because this is my job. I put in a full work week. Um, I don't know how to better answer that question. I mean, <laughs> it's what I do. How do you come up with names for all your characters? <sighs> I'm just very talented. Crazy talented. I don't name every single character. If a name doesn't pop into my head, then I don't bother to name them. I spend a lot of time staring at their little faces. You feel it. And it just comes out. Georgie, <laughs> you know, it just happens. What do you listen to while painting? I spend so much time painting. I just go through different phases of trying different things. Sometimes I listen to audiobooks or podcasts. I don't listen to music all that often. It's too... You know how when you're listening to a song you've heard before, you're like transported back to that time where you heard that song? Whipped back from high school to childhood to yesterday. I just like to have a more neutral kind of thing going on up here when I'm painting for long hours of the day. What is Georgie's favorite food? He arrived at my house for Christmas and I don't know how to feed him. Should I be concerned? Um, yeah, if you have not fed him since Christmas, you should be concerned. You could have at least offered him something. I feel like I got blood on my hands now because I didn't get to this question until right now. He could be dead. Uh, Georgie's not a picky eater. You can feed him anything except for pineapple. <laughs> I saw a lot of questions similar to this one, asking if I ever went through a dark phase or an emo phase or something like that. No, I did not. I did go through somewhat of a tomboy phase from like maybe age nine to 12. I did not care about clothes or makeup or anything like that. I was still running around outside playing with my brothers, but emo phase, no. What song do you like better? Fingers Down My Spine or The Sprinkle Song? I am proud of you for addressing the difference between those those two because many people think the fingers down my spine is the sprinkle song and it's just not. Whatever the first video I chose the sprinkle song, I was editing up until the last, last minute, and that was just the song that I could find that sounded the most appropriate for sprinkles. Then I realized, oh, I've just named this the official sprinkle song, and, and now it's gonna be used over and over again. At this point, I am kind of attached to it just because it's tradition. Fingers Down My Spine, on the other hand, that's a song I happened upon, and I was like, I like this a lot. Fingers down my spine, winner. If Opie was a human, Opie is my cat, do you think he would still choose to live with you? Yeah, because he is way too lazy to go out and get a job and there is no way he would have ambition to do anything on his own. I just had a 30 minute long argument about whether a straw has one or two holes. Can you just clarify that a straw has one hole? 
if I had to choose whether a straw has one or two holes, I would say that it has one hole. But I probably wouldn't say that a straw has a hole because a straw is less of a hole and more of a tube with an entrance and an exit. This is not worth thinking about for one second longer, okay? Will you ever teach your own art class? No, ah, I don't think that I'm qualified to teach. Unless it was like a class of two year olds, I, I could just tell them like, don't eat the paint and stuff like that. I'm not a teacher. I just kind of like to share what I'm doing. Are you ever creeped out with your squishies since they just stare at you constantly when you're in your art room? No, not at all. I've never sat in my art room and thought, oh, my squishies are staring at me. They're not real. I think too many people took Toy Story a little too seriously. Do you think one day you'll get sick of doing rainbow and dessert themes and that your art will become more adult when you get older? Um, no. <laughs> People get real caught up on the, is it childish to like cutesy things? Can you be an adult that likes rainbow? And I get it because, you know, people make comments like, why are you 26 and painting rainbows? It's just an art style. It doesn't determine your maturity level. It doesn't make you less of an adult if you like squishies and you like to joke around and you like cute things. I get to have a job where I do stuff that makes me really happy and I love doing. And I know that it's helpful for a lot of you too. I get a a lot of messages from teens and adults saying that I helped them feel more comfortable about their interests and feel like they don't have to be embarrassed. Since I didn't see anyone asking this yet and it's been in all of your Q and A's, I thought I'd just bring on the potato questions. Are you a French fry? We had to have one of them, didn't we? For some reason, somebody every year asks me about potatoes. Are you a potato? I'm not a potato. What is your favorite form of potato? Oh geez, a potato questions are back. No, I am not a french fry either. What is the name of the folder in which you keep your memes? Okay, this is embarrassing. Memes. LOL. I'm clever. <laughs> yeah. Um, I have a really bad habit of naming folders in just obnoxious and really stupid ways for no reason. Thanks for asking that question. I saw this question a lot too, weirdly enough. Can you make a video entirely made out of your memes? Um, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I could do that. It wouldn't make any sense. But apparently a lot of you want to see that. Oh, more questions about memes. Can you show every single one of your screaming memes? <laughs> You're welcome. Why do you criticize your art so much? You know, I don't feel like I am overly critical of my art. I feel like I just kind of point out what I see. But also if I don't point something out that's wrong with the art, that's like all people seem to want to talk about, then the comment section ends up just being about the mistake. What is your opinion on Barney the dinosaur? I never liked Barney. Never. What's your everyday routine? Some days I am in front of the camera, some days I'm painting, some days I'm editing, some days I'm recording a voiceover, some days I'm working on merchandise, and most days it's a mix of all of those things. I do wake up at the same time every morning, which is 7 a.m. Sometimes I sleep into 7.30, but we won't talk about that. I usually spend an hour in the morning hanging out with Jordan and eating breakfast. I like whole grain bagels. <laughs> Fascinating. And then I get started with work. In the afternoon, I get a workout in. Immediately following my workout is when I shower. And then fill in the rest. The rest is always different. What is your favorite color? Don't say rainbow. Okay, well, rainbow is not a color. So I wouldn't have said rainbow. We all have to have a favorite color. And I don't understand why, why, why they are all beautiful. Some days I would say blue, some days I would say pink. I like both of those colors very much. Lots of questions about my husband, Jordan. So I'll try to answer some of the ones that I saw repeated or got a lot of likes. Does your husband hang out in your art room with you while you're filming or painting? Whoa, this got 620 likes. Wow, okay. Every once in a while, he'll come in just to like tell me something or to say hi, but he doesn't sit and hang out with me here. When you're making a video, you have to be focused on a lot of different things. You have to be focused on the camera and the light 
lights and whether you're in frame and you can't just like stop painting and talk to somebody for a second and then go back because then you have to edit that out and then it just like eats up more and more and more time when you're distracted while painting so it's a very focused activity when I'm working we are in paint mode everyone out it's just me just me by myself did you show your customized Rubik's Cube to Jordan? If so, what was his reaction? I showed it to him as soon as I was finished with it because I was like so proud of it. I believe his words were, you're insane. <laughs> also, a lot, a lot of questions about what Jordan's reaction to the human cupcake situation was. Actually, while I was filming that video, I was in the process of painting my face. Jordan FaceTimed me probably at the creepiest stage. He was quite, taken aback. He was like laughing hysterically. I believe he screenshotted it. How many videos do you usually film at a time? I'm usually working on like three videos at a time now, up to like five videos. That gets really confusing and hectic. It is most efficient to work on multiple things at a time because there's always drying time when you're painting. So it's just gonna waste a lot of time for me to sit there and wait for paint to dry. I'm always trying to maximize every moment of my day. This question got 580 likes, so I guess I have to answer it. If you had to banish one color from the rainbow, which would it be? Mean question. See, the reason I love the rainbow so much is because it's so perfectly balanced with all of the colors in it. So to remove one color, uh, my least favorite colors are probably yellow or orange. Yeah, I'm wearing a yellow shirt. I didn't say I hated the color. I just said it was one of my least favorite. I don't know why I'm getting like all aggressive, but it would look really weird to take either of those out of the rainbow because they're kind of in the middle. If I had to take one out, it would be purple because it's at the end of the rainbow. Like this ice cream cone doesn't have purple. Is it kind of sad that purple's not there? Yeah. But does it still look like a rainbow? Yeah. Lots of video requests questions, so let's answer those. Can you do a reaction video of you reacting to your old videos? Perhaps. Will you do tie-dye again? Yeah, I love tie-dye. Can you please do another video of you fixing your old artwork? Absolutely. Will you do another hopeless squishy makeover? Mmm. Okay. Are you gonna do another art things to do when you're bored? Yeah. Um, first off, hi from another adult who gets mistaken as a teenager. Hmm. You know what? I think I look a little bit older now. Or is that just wishful thinking? Maybe more of you know, just in general, how old I am. It used to be every single time I said my age, 99% of the comments were like, wow, I thought you were 15. Ugh. But anyway, that was not even your question. How was your experience in high school once you stopped homeschooling? So for any Anyone who doesn't know, I was homeschooled from second to eighth grade, and then I went to public school in high school. I was freaking terrified, okay? I never had homeschooled friends. I only had friends who went to public school. They just always made me feel like I got the easy way out. You're so lucky you get to be homeschooled because public school just sucks. Once I went into public school, it was really only nerve wracking for like the first two days, and then it felt really strangely normal. It wasn't great. It wasn't terrible. It was just high school. How are you so patient and amazing? I just always have to throw those questions in there that are just like pure compliments. Is there really a question there? No. What is your favorite dessert to eat? I love that they have to clarify to eat. My default answer probably would have been like one to draw, which would have been a cupcake. My favorite dessert to eat is probably chocolate cake. Mm, I love chocolate cake. I also really like chocolate chip cookies and chocolate ice cream or just a straight bar of chocolate is fine too. What are some of your hobbies other than art? Art is a big one, okay? And I don't really have a lot of time for other hobbies. I love going on hikes, nature walks. I love being on the water with snacks. Is snacks a hobby? <laughs> I do like watching YouTube videos. Oh, organizing things. That's something I love to do, maximizing my space to fit more things. <laughs> That's less of a hobby, more of a sickness. Do you have any advice for people learning to draw? That depends on your goal. If you're trying to become a professional artist and your goal is to be a great, great, skillful artist, you should ask somebody like that for advice. If you're trying to be more like me and you just like wanna have fun with your art, then just have fun with your art. Don't overthink it, don't overcomplicate it. Don't force yourself to do any sort of weird art ritual 
impossible that other people are telling you to do. Like you don't have to sketch this and that every day and whatever, whatever, whatever. And you just want to enjoy making art for the sake of making art, then just do that. How do you stay so motivated? A lot of questions around this kind of theme. I think the problem with motivation is that a lot of people just sit around and wait for it to happen. Some days you feel motivated, some days you don't. If you have a goal, you just have to do it. The more often you make that decision to just do something, the easier it becomes because once something is a habit, then it's like not even really a question. Do the rainbows in Lucky Charms bother you? No. I know that they're not complete rainbows, but they're also tiny marshmallows. So I understand. I could just never say that Lucky Charms bother me. What is a bad slash weird habit that you have? I think I lick my lips too much. I probably edit it out a lot because usually when there's a pause is when I would lick my lips and then those probably mostly get edited out. Whenever I see myself do it, I always like hate it. Why do you never ask us to subscribe? This is another thing that a lot of people talk about. I don't know why it's so fascinating to so many people. I don't have a problem asking you to subscribe. I don't have a problem when other people do it either. Some people even have like a whole routine where they give this spiel about you gotta like and subscribe and comment and follow them here and there. And you know, it's like something that they do every video. I just observe my own behavior and somebody doing that doesn't make me more likely to subscribe. If somebody says, Subscribe! I will if I want to, but if I don't, then I'm not going to. So I assume most people are probably like that. Maybe I'm wrong though. I don't know. If your squishies could talk, who do you think would be the rudest? What? I think that's obvious. I just recently started to watch your videos and I find them so relaxing and great. Relaxing? <laughs> are they relaxing? <laughs> Okay, that's I Thank you. Do you get a lot of negativity for the type of content you make? Not a whole lot. I think that there are some people who understand and some people who don't. Any choice that you make is going to be like that. What do you dislike most about your job? <laughs> Love how you have to put quotes around it. Like it's not real. Can I say that? That is one of the things that I dislike most about my job. A lot of people don't find it a real job and it is hard to understand, but at the end of the day, totally worth being a little bit misunderstood to have a job that's really awesome. Okay, well, I've answered a buttload of questions. Thank you so much to everyone who gave me questions. I'm so sorry if I didn't get around to a burning question of yours. I've just spent so much time talking. That was the end of my annual q and I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next week. Bye!